Well, hello everyone. So, as all my friends know, I really like to use Snapchat. I like to snap, document my day, share what I'm doing with my friends and followers, and I like to talk. I talk sometimes about funny stuff, at least I hope it's funny, and other times I like to talk about some serious stuff. So it happens that a few weeks ago I was talking about this topic and I thought, you know, let me talk about it on Snapchat. And a lot of people told me, Fatma, this is actually a very important subject, so why don't you make a video of it and share it on Facebook and YouTube? So I thought, okay, fair enough. It is a very important um, issue and I would like for people to hear it. So yeah, it happened two weeks ago when I got my voting pass. So why a voting pass? Because ladies and gentlemen, we are having our elections on the 15th of March. So in 10 days, the Netherlands is having their elections. So yeah, today I'm going to talk about voting. But disclaimer, two things actually. So um, by all means, in this video, I'm not going to say vote for this party and not for this party. No, I'm not from any party. I am just talking about why we should vote and voting in general. Second of all, so you have elections in the Netherlands, why are you talking in English and not in Dutch? Well, um, the thing is that we are not the only ones this year that are having our elections. Um, France, Germany and Italy, I guess, are also having their elections this year. So yeah, this is a universal message for everyone and it's gonna be an interesting year and I think we all need to hear this. Okay, so voting. So I got pretty excited when I got my vote through the mail because um, it's my first time voting basically as I'm 21 years old but I also noticed that a lot of people my age are not that excited about voting and yeah, why should I vote? Why should I even bother when no one is listening to me? Politicians never listen to us. Well, I agree with you that if you only go vote and then go sit back on the couch, not much is going to change. That's why we should do more than voting. But let's start with the first step, voting. How should I vote? So first of all, people tend to do two things. They tend to give their ears to the media and also rely on the polls. Well, I would really like to say people, please don't look at the polls. Polls are very misleading. They are very inaccurate. It's mostly a pulse, an impulse of the moment itself and it's never really accurate so if you rely on the polls well that's not going to do the trick either the thing is with voting you really should think for yourself you should read all the political party statements their their plans um, really deepen yourself and have knowledge about everything talk to people not only in your circle that agree with you but also people that you disagree with just talk to them and uh, basically widen your horizon in this way you get a more um yeah how do you say that um, a more accurate image of what is going on and on that basis you can make a full con conscious decision of your own and go and vote so i voted now what okay step two now we have even a bigger role to play after the elections because we gave our vote our one vote that we had to the political party so now we're going to hold them accountable for their promises and their actions. So are they really representing us? Are they really representing the ideals that they said that they represented during the elections? So basically we have to be active citizens in a way that we know what's going on, that we can hold our governments accountable because we as citizens tend to forget that we have rights. We do have obligations, of course, but we also have rights. We can call the government, we can call the ministries or any institutions and demand transparency. We, as citizens, can demand to get things done and make a call for action, basically. So that's why it's really important. I believe that, you know, as the youth, we, um, at, um, as being active, we can really do something and change how politics goes these days you know so it might be an ideal for you know later or a goal that might be achieved later on but if we start now if we start holding the governments accountable and if we start being active then a lot is going to change i'm sure of that so yeah at the end i want to say that i'm very grateful for this vote why so grateful and thankful well throughout history a lot of people actually 
they didn't have this vote, they didn't have this voice. So they protested, they started revolutions, they went on the streets, and they died. Blood has shed in order for us to live in a democracy and to have a vo voice and to be able to vote. So I'm not going to take this vote for granted. I am going to use this vote and afterwards I'm going to do my best to be an active citizen and bring some change. So dear people of the Netherlands, please go vote on the 15th of March and dear people of Europe and the world, if you have the chance and the opportunity to vote, please do. Thank you.